This video shows how to create and manage APIs with Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services. You can create APIs with Informatica Cloud Application Integration, and you can manage the APIs with Informatica Cloud API Manager. In Informatica Cloud Application Integration, you can integrate APIs and event-based data in real time, integrate and automate processes, and implement APIs. In this video, we'll show you how to implement and manage APIs by initiating orders, the first step in the order management business process. First, let's walk through an example. Kathy is a customer who wants to order something from a retail clothing company's website. John is a developer for the retail clothing company. He creates and runs business workflows in cloud application integration. Then, he exposes the workflows as APIs. Since the APIs aren't secured, they're vulnerable to misuse. Mia is an IT administrator for the company. Mia manages John's APIs in Cloud API Manager. She applies policies to the APIs to secure them and to provide visibility so that other users can find them on the Cloud API portal. When Kathy places an order on the company's website, the APIs are used on the back end. The company's distributors can access the APIs in the Cloud API portal and then use the APIs to place bulk orders. The company can also monitor and track the API usage in a Cloud API Manager. This video contains three parts. In the first part, we'll look at how to create a process to initiate orders. Then, we'll create a managed API for the process. And finally, we'll show you how to manage and monitor the API's usage. If you want to review any of these sections, we've listed timestamps in the description box to help you navigate the video. We'll begin by looking at a sample process to initiate orders. In Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services, click Application Integration. We open the Process Designer page. If you need to create a new process, you click Create. In this video, we'll look at a process that we've already created. The first step is the start step, which defines the binding, access, and runtime environment for the process. This process can be invoked as a web service over HTTP. The process uses basic authentication and runs on the cloud server. The Input Fields tab shows the item name, item count, the customer's name, and the customer's email ID. The Output Fields tab shows the order status, order ID, item price, and the order price. Next, the Service step gets the item details from the inventory with the Service Connector. The Service step looks for the item name. If the Service step finds the item in the inventory, the Output fields show item details like the cost, selling price, and sales commission. If the item isn't available, the process sends a message to the customer that the item is out of stock. The assignment step is where you define the message. If the item is available, we'll continue processing the order. Next, you assign values to the output fields. The service step uses the Get Margin Detail Service Connector and Connection to calculate the order's profit margins for both the company and the vendor. After we process the order, we need to send emails that notify the customer and the vendor about the order. Since we need to send two emails to different recipients, we need to use a parallel path step. First, we send an email to the customer with the order number and expected delivery date. In the second path, we send an email to the vendor with the order and profit margin details. The initiate order process has already been published. When a process is published, it is exposed as an API. After you publish a process, Application Integration generates service URLs, a Swagger file, and a WSDL file. Let's take a closer look. Open the Actions menu and click Properties Detail. You can use the service URLs to invoke the Initiate Order process. We'll copy the REST service URL, then paste it in a browser, add the input parameters at the end, and press Enter. Then, we'll enter the username and password for the account that is authorized to invoke the process. Now we can see the results of the process. On the My Processes page, developers like John can monitor processes. Click the Process Instance ID to view the process run details.
Administrators like Mia can monitor processes in the Application Integration Console service. Next, we'll create a managed API for the Initiate Order process in Informatica Cloud API Manager. In IICS, open the API Manager service. We find the row that has the REST-based Initiate Order API that we created earlier. Then open the Actions menu and click Create Managed API. We'll use the default name and click Create. And that's it! We can now access the service through a Managed API URL so we can apply some policies and analyze data about the API. Next, we'll show how to manage and monitor the API's usage in Informatica Cloud API Manager. Click the Managed API to open it. On the General tab, you can define the authentication methods that users must use to invoke the API. On the Policies tab, you can add policies that enforce security, define access rules, and comply with data privacy regulations for a specific Managed API or for all the Managed APIs in the organization. In the Rate Limit section, you can add a policy that limits the number of times the Managed API can be invoked during a specific period of time. In the IP Filtering section, you can add a policy that allows or denies permission to call the API based on an IP address range. On the Privacy tab, you can add a policy that protects the private information and in API data. On the Swagger tab, you can view the API's request and response parameters. You can also test the Managed API in a Swagger interface. Click Try It Out to run and test the API. You can copy the Managed API URL and invoke it in the same way you invoked the process with the REST service URL. On the Analytics tab, you can quickly view user activity data in graphic displays and drill down to see more details about each event. Now let's check out the Overview dashboard. Here, we can view reports about managed APIs and summary details, like usage trends over time, the most used APIs, and the users who access APIs the most often. On the Activity Log tab, you can view access requests for managed APIs for a selected date range. And finally, on the Event Log tab, you can view a list of policy breaches over a selected range of days. In this video, we showed you how to create a process to initiate orders, create a managed API for the process, and manage and monitor API usage. So now you know how to create and manage APIs with Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services. If you want to go back and revisit any of the steps we covered, we've listed timestamps in the description box to help you navigate the video.